counselors. Today I'm going to give you a couple of tips of things that you can do for your personalized counseling. Tip number one, let's dive in right away. Select your location. Hopefully your office is near enough where your students know where it is so they can go right away. But where in your office? Are you going to do in a table? Are you going to do in your desk? Where it's going to be the setup? Have something for them like a special treat rather if it's a pencil, a candy, I give them candy, guilty of. <laughs> Tip number two, um, Google Calendar or Outlook. You need to make sure that you coordinate with them in a lot of time in advance so they know when you're gonna start picking up their students little by little so it won't affect the instructional process. Tip number three, decide what are the questions that you're gonna ask them. In another video, I provided a couple of suggestions of questions that I asked. Does that mean that you have to use just the ones that I said? Uh, mm -mm. No, you can create your own. You can create your multiple choice as well of responses and tweak them. This is all, for example, I'm sharing what works for me, but you need to discover what works for you, your campus and your needs or the type of data that you're looking to find into those questions. So once you have tip number three, remember it's going to be like, what are the questions that you're going to ask? Embedded in that one, do you want to do it paper-based? Do you want to write down all the responses? Or do you want to use a Google form? I highly suggest that you use a Google form because the Google form is going to gather all the data for you. You don't have to worry about counting manually, all those results. You can classify it even per professions after you're done with that. Careers, what they want to do when they grow up, some of the struggles. You can even pull out the students that are like your red flags. So think about begin with the end in mind how you're gonna use that data okay so don't forget and tip number four how you're gonna let the parents know that you talk to their child or their children this part is essential you don't want the student to go home saying I had a meeting with the counselor and they asked me who do you live with what are you afraid of or any type of those things because it can be a mis it could be a misunderstanding so you don't want that so decide I'm gonna send an exit ticket a letter home I'm gonna send in advance in the school newsletter a reminder for the parents that we're having an individual counseling with the, the individual meeting with the counselor sorry about that um, you're gonna send a letter and email so what are, you're gonna send it in class dojo you're gonna send it to the teachers and the teachers are gonna send directly that message to the students you need to decide how you're gonna communicate with the parents and always remember it's only one team and we're on your child's team don't forget about those tips and hacks to run smooth your process. In another videos, I model with my children how to do an elementary personalized counseling one-on-one -on -one meeting. So stay tuned. Bye.